examine what motives, what intentions you have when you speak with others. My dear students, parents, teachers and all the well-wishers, welcome back to another motivation, a proverb. A flattering mouth works ruin. A flattering mouth works ruin. That's why I said, watch what you speak. We need to consciously put an effort the motives what we have when we speak with our elders, with our people, leaders, the one who are in an influential state. Three important things I want everybody to learn today. Ask yourself what you speak with others. Ask yourself what is the intention and motive behind your talk? During elections? During any of the promotional lists in the big companies or in our offices? Some of the people you hear lobbying to get a ticket, to get a promotion. We go, we try to flatter our boss or the leaders or the people on a high authority so that we try to have some favor. Ask yourself what you speak. And second important thing, do not fall for such short-lived methods when you speak. Many times we think that he is in an authoritative position. He is my boss or she is my boss. Maybe I need to say yes, yes. What all they do, the wrong. You know pretty well they are doing it wrong. But still to have some favoritism, we flatter. We say you are great. Oh, you are doing really good. Oh, your speech is awesome. But inside your heart, we know that that is the most disastrous speech. In doing so, you are misguiding. It's a work of ruin. It's a destruction. And it is a deception. You deceive that. You are condoning their bad post post portrayal of things their bad nature you're condoning you're appreciating you're acknowledging you're saying yes deceiving yourself deceiving others by approving it i tell you this is something which we all have to question ourselves why am i doing this why am i flattering what do I need? Don't I say it openly? Sometimes we know pretty well that what they are doing is wrong. But you must have that courage to say. Don't worry that moment that friendship you may lose. Or that moment they may say, hey, how dare you speak to me like that? Move away. They may say, but. In long run, that helps them to rethink, to understand why you said that to them that moment. When your friend is taking a wrong path, stop and say, what you're doing is wrong. Get back. But if you say, you go, I'm not your friend from now on. It's okay. But after Maybe days or years he'll come back or she will come back and say, you're right. That moment you helped me. Because of you, I realized my mistake. That's why my third point is be realistic. Our life is too short to hide our feelings. Too short. Don't hide 
your feelings. Be sincere to talk with others. Give your encouragement sincerely. Don't flatter them. Don't have the flattering mouth. Be sincere. Be honest in your comments, in your compliments. That helps others. That helps you also because always remember a flattering mouth works ruin. It knows pretty well for the person who flatters and the person who receives that flattering both know the reality. Don't be in deception. Don't deceive ourselves and others. Always remember, ask yourself what you say. Try to know what are the motives in that flattering. Don't fall for such things. Be strong, be sincere, be honest. Because even the proverb is teaching us, when you wake up, when you have the flattering words to your neighbors, it is like you are spreading a net to their steps. It is a trap. Don't have the trap for others. You don't fall into that trap because it leads to the destruction and it ends up with ruin of life. Think of this. Take care. Be blessed. Have a nice day.